Hey YouTubers, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell over by the subscriber button to notify you every single time I upload. Enjoy the video. Hey YouTubers, and welcome back to another Dragon Ball Super discussion video. I am once again joined by the other half of the dynamic duo, the one, the only, MJ from MJTV. But before I introduce him, I let him introduce himself. I just want to reiterate this to people, or at least iterate it, I guess. Uh, guys, we have not seen the newest episode of Dragon Ball Super. We haven't seen the preview for the next episode of Dragon Ball Super. It's being recorded a couple hours before that episode actually airs so please just know that before you go into this video we don't know what exactly is going to happen we're just working off of our basic information probably won't even post this if tonight's episode contradicts this in a heavy heavy way but with that being said man why don't you say hello to everyone listening hello everyone that is listening <laughs> Anyway, guys, guys, taking a drink there. <laughs> anyway, uh, guys, today we're going to be talking about Frieza in the Tournament of Power and whether or not Frieza is actually tricking everybody. You know, he's he's still... Is Frieza actually useful? I'm yeah, seriously, that's, re that's what it is. No, but is he conniving? Is he figuring out a way to make himself seem so incredibly useless that he will actually have enough of a chance to take out Jiren or waiting for Jiren to take out Goku and Vegeta and then going to step up and do something or trying to do something at the end here, right? Is he really as useless as getting completely hakai by Topo and just taken out by Jiren this entire time? Or is all of this a strategy where he allows himself to get taken out even though he's has this really angry demeanor, but he's always kind of disappears or always on the sideline where he's never in any really danger after he gets hit once or twice. Man, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think that's at all possible? Just going to preface this. I don't really know if this is possible, but it is an interesting question considering this guy was brought back for a reason and you know, we have yet to see any real reason why he could even stand up to Topo or Jiren at this point if he's not hiding something. It's funny because in our Discord server, one of our friends, Pride, it actually brought this up to me and told me that no matter how many times Freezy gets like this alpha moment or this cool line, right, he ends up like in a drop the soap moment <laughs> <laughs> with Topo and Jiren. So it's like, yeah, he keeps getting thrown around. He keeps getting manhandled. Like, bro, even worse than like Vegeta and Goku because these dudes are legit manhandling him, you know? And it's funny that it would be cool to see him actually be holding back something or at least not using the full potential of his true golden freeze of form and actually just kind of laying low and taking these beatings to kind of get it in their heads that i'm nothing to you that way when the time comes i'll end you you know what i mean i think that's pretty cool and that's very cunning it's something that separates this frieza from the i guess other versions of frieza the other variants of frieza what i mean is frieza on Namek, the mecha frieza and then ROF Frieza, you know? I'm not going to get into movie candor GT. <laughs> I'm just talking about the regular ones. So uh, those two versions of Frieza, to me, come off very different from the one we're seeing in the Tournament of Power. And this is something that's been built up even since episode 95, where Frieza has just been a... Uh, he, he's I don't want to use the word strategist. I guess cunning is the right word then. So he's been having like these little bits of dialogue about how he wants to do this and he wants to do that and he has like this secret motivation and it's almost like that butt whipping he took from goku and rof and him being in hell for like a year right really changed and warped how he views things and i think it would be cool leading all the way up to what happens with the end of this tournament i think there's some merit to it you can actually make a legit like video off of it of off the evidence just supporting this and i think it would be cool to see that happen i mean we've talked about other characters getting really big moments in this arc uh 17 master roshi for example too you know so i think it would be cool to see frieza finally get his moment and all of this is just kind of him playing dead in a sense you know like he comes up every now and then and just tries to show that he's nothing. That way he's waiting for the right moment and the right time. Yeah, obviously. And it, it really does to show you, you know, one of the things that we've been seeing over the last couple episodes is Goku and Vegeta going head-to-head -head all out just to fight Jiren. And Jiren, after he takes out Frieza in the last episode, he was just like, okay, 
I'm just gonna take out those three guys. Those guys are having me, have giving me so much trouble. This other guy is just a wimp. You know, I just had one shot at him. He's out. He know he can't really stand up to me. And Frieza, on the other hand, throughout this entire tournament, has given Goku energy. He's like, hey, you know, I don't want to fight that guy. He told Goku. Maybe Goku's thinking, okay, Frieza can't fight this guy after he said that. And then it would be great just to have Frieza have this aha moment we get flashbacks from the whole tournament power right where we get to see how he was kind of conniving and kind of allowing other people in universe 7 to get completely taken off at this point i were just assuming after tonight's episode vegeta is going to be gone there's only going to be three people left on the stage goku frieza and jiren and frieza is going to come in the next episode and he's like look i have been deceiving you guys this entire time i am way stronger and then he kind of goes through these quick flashbacks of you know you get to see him helping probably frost take out krillin or something like that maybe kind of give us a scene that we didn't know of while they were kind of quote unquote working together and then we get to see dispo taking out frieza and just knowing maybe smiling under his breath that like gohan is going to come help him that's why when he comes up he's like oh universe 7 team leader thank you for coming to help me even though like Dude, you were just on the ropes. Like, how are you going to make jokes at this point, right? And so you also get to see him allow himself to get taken out because he wants to have 17 get taken out by Topo. And he doesn't want to have to deal with the guy either. And then allowing Jiren to kind of underestimate him as well. That would be an amazing breakdown if they tried to go that way. And I really hope they do because I want Frieza to have something or at least some meaning in this tournament. And I'm kind of along with a lot, a lot of people... I don't really see him doing a baby face turn. I don't see him actually becoming a good guy and fighting alongside Goku for the betterment of the universe. You, Like you said, he has been conniving and talking under his breath this entire tournament. It would be really epic for him to, or at least for us to, us to see the full picture here. Like, what is this guy thinking about and how has he been maneuvering this entire tournament in his favor? And just knowing that he's strategically taking out almost everyone in the tournament or making these like little concessions that's going to whittle down his universe and all the other universes to the point where it's like he's the only one who can be considered the MVP after they win. That would be epic in my opinion. No, yeah, that would be really cool. And one thing that we've talked about in previous of the videos is the idea of Frieza coming up to Jiren when Jiren's weakened. Now, the idea of him playing this, you know, like we said, you know, he's playing cat and mouse here, he's playing dead every now and then, and trying to just buy in the time, you know, just waiting for the right moment. It would be cool, bro, that we know Ultra Instinct's coming back, right? So we know that's coming back. That's inevitable. So it will be cool to see after a long, hard fight between Jiren and Goku, you have Frieza come. Frieza does his alpha stuff. He does Frieza, right? Starts to just break down a tired Jiren. And this is what you were talking about earlier by saying we don't really want to see him turn face. I don't think anyone wants to see that. Like people have made jokes about Frieza <laughs> coming back to life and living with Bulma and Vegeta at Capsule Court. <laughs> like, no, that's, that's not going to happen. But it would be cool to see him be what he is and see that you know that that evil in him and to see Jiren come up against that and I think what makes this special mark is that backstory even though it's pretty generic it's like a rip off of like Sasuke's backstory or any other you know oh my people got killed <laughs> backstory right it would be cool to kind of see Jiren in that situation again I mean if Vegeta and Goku all heard it everyone on the stands heard it you can't tell me Frieza didn't hear it, right? So he, I imagine him bringing that up. Like, oh, you're just as helpless as you were as a kid. All those muscles for nothing, right? <laughs> boom, boom. Just like shooting him with, uh, you know, finger beams. I think that would be really cool. It's a really cool interaction. And it could not only help benefit and catapult Frieza into that MVP role and actually show that he has been useful, but it could also catapult Jiren as a character himself. And I think it overall makes the ending of this arc with Frieza, Goku, and Jiren that much better because not only will it be awesome fights it's probably going to be very well animated but you could get something there with frieza something there with jiren and something there with goku just a little bit more meaning to what's all happening here before we come to the conclusion of this entire franchise see the one thing i really love about that is that when they were doing the flashback for jiren's story they never said and i think rightfully so that jiren actually ended up taking out the guy 
who took out his family. They never mentioned it whatsoever. It was implied that he got away. And it would be super awesome if Jiren sees in Frieza this entity that took out his family that pushed him into this part. And he actually stands up and fights Frieza. Now he's strong enough to actually deal with the situation on his own. And Frieza gets taken out that way. That way Frieza doesn't win. Jiren is kind of relieved or he kind of turns over a new leaf because he was finally able to take out that antagonist that's kind of haunted him his entire life and then him and Goku have one last fight but Jiren at this point is kind of a changed man not only from fighting Goku but also from fighting Frieza and it makes for an amazing character moment like you said for all three people that would be a perfect way to end this tournament in my opinion. No, I completely agree with you on that because they did not mention that in the flashback. And that's been one of the popular fan theories about if this guy's out there. We don't know. He was not there to be introduced as a new character. Maybe he will be in uh, future movies or spinoff mangas. But as of right now, it would be cool. It would be really dope because in Jiren's eyes, that entity, you know, was pure evil. You know, it took out his family. It took out his master. It took out his friends. And for him to see, again, Frieza, who's kind of been painted as pure evil, no matter how much time goes by, <laughs> he doesn't change. It would be cool to see that in there. And again, like we just said, it catapults all these characters, especially Frieza, into the role that we want him to be. And it proves why he was brought back in this tournament, at least in universe reason. And it also catapults Jiren into something that they people could possibly like more moving forward. I think it benefits everybody. I agree. And... Just the way I was playing it down earlier, I just kind of want to talk about that just a little bit more. I think it would be perfect just to have a quick couple of glances at what Freeze has been doing this entire tournament to at least let us know as a fan base, this guy has been pulling the strings this entire time. He's been setting up the dominoes literally in order for himself to win, and this is his moment. That would be a perfect Frieza moment for me. Like This is exactly the type of person we wanted after Dragon Ball Z and then coming back in the Fukatsu no F arc. And when he actually came back, he's like, look, I've had a lot of time to sit there and think in that cocoon of mine. And I realize that I've been way too impatient. You were right the last time I, I fought you. And I've been thinking of my plan. And now we know that this is a completely different Frieza. He doesn't think from the hip or anything else like that. He's grown. He's matured. But he's still evil he's still the type of person who's going to stab you in the back the first time he can get a chance to do that and at the end of the day it's just a different way he is not changed in the sense that he's not evil but he's at least not as emotional as he is and everything he's done here is an act fighting topo fighting jiren fighting everyone allowing himself to get beaten up by dispo everything that would be perfect in my opinion. This is the Frieza that I want. And I think after all that is said and done, I think there will be another debate on who was actually the MVP character-wise for the Tournament of Power. No, I completely agree with you. And I can't wait for this series to come to a conclusion. That way we can talk about everything that's transpired. Yeah, I know. Anyway, guys, please make sure to go down to the description section below. Hit that link and go subscribe to MJ. The guy makes some really awesome content. Dragon Ball content, anime content. The versus battles are really awesome. At the same time, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share your thoughts and opinions, guys. Because this isn't just a discussion between MJ and myself. It's also for the greater community. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Share it out to all your friends so they can share their thoughts and opinions as well i hope everyone has a fantastic day it's been real